Hello, I'm Bob with Lattercrete again. Today, we're going to be talking about our air and water barrier. We'll be going over the cement backer board that we uh, tape and bed um, the uh, last session. What we want to do at this point is if it's been sitting for a while, we want to make sure it's clean and sound. There's no splashes from the job site and things of that nature that could be on any contaminant. The other thing we want to look for is any ridges from the tape and bed. Make sure those are knocked down to where we can get a nice application of the air and water barrier. All you have to do is just knock down any edges that might be there, and then you'll come back and wipe those down, and then we can start our application of the air and water barrier. The air and water barrier can be applied paint roller, it can be sprayed, it can be troweled. Typically on most job sites, we uh, roll it. Uh, it's more convenient, and we don't have to worry about the overspray on jams and the uh, vehicles that might be around the, uh, the job site. So. When we get started, what we want to do is make sure our material is mixed up good and then use a half to a three quarter inch nap roller to apply the material. Um, it's not really painting, we're trying to get an application. Each application, it's a two coat system. It's 15 to 22 mils per coat. You put up the first coat and allow it to dry. It starts out with a light sage and turns to a dark, uh, dark sage. And uh, once that's done, then we can do the second application. Get the material on the roller, and you go up and down, okay? Then you wanna go the opposite. And you can do this five or six times. each time and the reason for this is where we get a nice even application and I'll show you how to check that here in just a minute and what you're trying to do is get a nice application that's pretty even if it's a little thin just apply a little bit more on the roller and then re-roll that area to where you have a nice application typically a strokes about four to five feet and then you can go to the one above that but what we're trying to do is get a nice even mill gauge thickness of uh, 15 to 22 mils on uh, each coat. Okay, once we get the first coat up, what we want to do is check every now and then to make sure we're getting proper coverage. You take your wet film gauge. It has all these nice numbers around it. It basically gives you the mill thicknesses of your coating. So what we want to do is find the 14 to uh, 30 mil side. We're going to place that against the air and water barrier. Perpendicular, you want to keep it as straight out as you can. And then we're just going to slide it up about an inch to check the thicknesses to make sure that we're hitting everything we need to. Okay, I'm hitting about 18 mils, so I'm getting optimal uh, coverage of my product. Uh, you don't want it to be at the 22 and you don't want it to be uh, at the 15 because You'd be wasting material or, you know, not getting the right amount of coverage. So 18 to 20 is what your guideline is to get this started. Once you uh, test it, and then you can go back and uh, continue the application. Do your little repair where you did your check, and then continue rolling out your board. Okay. This first coat will take approximately... 30 minutes to about an hour to dry, depending on the temperature and humidity that you're working in. Once it dries, like I said, it'll be a dark green color, and then you can start the next application and get your two coat process. Okay, so once you got it up, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour to dry on the first coat. That depends on temperature and humidity. Typically uh, 70 degrees, 70% 70 humidity, it'll dry in about 30 to 40 minutes. If it's a little colder, it takes a little bit longer. Working temps are about 50 degrees and rising and nothing above 90. So you might have to adjust your job site at that point. Once it's dry, it turns to the dark green uh, sage color. It'll be dry to the touch and then you can start your second coat. Okay, so once the first coat is dried, dry to the touch, we can start applying our second coat. Same process, 15 to 22 mils and uh, once that gets applied, then we allow that to dry and we can start setting stone. So I'll get the second coat applicated.
Okay, so we got the second coat applied. Should uh, take about anywhere from 45 minutes to about an hour and a half to dry, depending on temperature and humidity. You should approximately get 250 square foot out of a pail, five gallon pail of product, and it'll turn to that dark sage. As soon as it's dry to the touch and turn dark sage, you can immediately start setting your stone.